All right, now, <clears throat> we were just talking about mostly problems, like sometimes like men mentally, like, um, I never told you this, okay? So here's, and back in 2004, November, right? I was 12 years old and I was, as a kid, I had behavioral issues to the point where no one liked me at all. So my parents, they made the hard choice to send me to a place. It was called Kids Keep in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I was there for about, I basically, it was a kid, it was a facility for people, kids who have issues like me. And, uh, and I, I was there for about six months, like almost half a year. They let me go around May, 2005. And, you know, they were nice people, but, uh, it just wasn't home. Like, and it was like the hardest, it was basically the hardest decision my parents had to make. However, I tweeted about a poster they made me and I still have it to this day. And, uh, I keep attached the staff barely but the kids i never saw i never saw them again in fact well a few who shall not be mentioned but they lost their minds it's like charlie sheen <laughs> <laughs> oh boy now if uh if everybody else there turned into charlie sheen and now well, you're now well, you turned into you i think you're doing pretty darn good like i said this millions of times i tap my moment I point them out, I need to be more honest with myself. And it makes me feel good. It does. What did you say? So I said, yeah. <laughs> I said that I understand, I really appreciate people saying I'm nice, but I have to remember that it makes me want to confess my sins so I can be more honest with myself. Well, sorry to hear about your experiences there as a kid. Thank you know, I. I've, uh, I've had some pretty tough experiences in my life, too. And, uh, but you know what, so I, I think it's great that uh, you've moved past that and uh, you've grown into the person that you are today. Yeah. As I said, we all have our moments. <laughs> so, oh, absolutely. Now, let's tease Togo again. Uh, he has no tongue. <laughs> he has probably, he can't, what can he lick? He can't lick ice cream. He can't lick soup. He, uh. I'm surprised you can talk with no tongue. <laughs> well, I, I have a tongue. It just has a tendency to fall out. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that definitely makes eating ice cream and all that rather difficult. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I should tell you what else. I, I ate the microphone just like Safira did. And I, <laughs> I, I, and I threw a mic stand at, my, at him, too. I threw a mic stand at Togo. Yeah, people like throwing mic stands at me. Yeah, I eat the mic. <laughs> That's what Safira did. I saw the video. Sorry, yeah, yeah, I saw the video. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah the, that whole part was not planned. We were just winging it there. <laughs> okay, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> um, let's see, like, uh, <laughs> the way, I don't understand how you managed to do push-ups in first year. Partially. Yep. But, uh, I, I would not recommend it. I mean, I was taking breaks and I was still dying a couple of times, especially, well, I did this to myself, you know, as, uh, as my friend Minion was saying in that video, you know, and, uh, in that video in the background, you could hear Safira banging Minion. You know, Fang mentioned something about, like, your fans did this. Yeah, like, yeah, and like your butt's falling apart. Like, I don't know. That didn't, what, what did they mean by that? Or maybe, like, oh, wait, wait, or maybe they were drinking too much and they're just drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's it, exactly. Hey, no disrespect. Yeah, no. My dumb ass did that to myself, which I did, because I said I was going to do it, and it's like, now I've got to 170. You know, nope. all the likes and stuff I like. Yeah. I got, so. I meant no disrespect to Togo's friends, and I was hoping to meet your other friends as well, like Minion. Like, no disrespect to Togo's friends. In fact, any friend of Togo is hopefully will be a friend to me. Absolutely, dude. And. You know, maybe I should, I should stop saying if I make it. I know I will, because I, it's like what, I Skyped with Teshi and Wolfie, my other friend. Hi, guys. Um, They told me, you got to tell yourself you can do this. I'm, like, I'm telling myself, I can totally do this. 
I know I can do this. I talked to my mom about it, and she's she's working hard for me. She's 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 driving me there and back. See, you got it all planned out. <laughs> well, things. Well, I'm pretty sure you had moments where you planned for something that didn't go the way you wanted them to. Well, uh, there's moments when plans don't quite go the way you want them to. But you know what, though, you, you always manage to find a way. <laughs> oh boy, do I. Um. All right, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, um. Um. So I didn't see the last Jedi because so I was impatient. So I read the spoilers. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm about to faint here. The biggest Star Wars fan I know has still hasn't seen Last Jedi. Yeah, guys, it's true. You see, if I'm impatient, like I was gonna see it with some friends, but I guess for some reason they just weren't up to it this time so i had to read the spoilers because i'm a huge star wars fan everyone knows that so you, yeah so you read the spoilers you know what happens uh you like yeah. what you read or you know i really like how they made luke skywalker like they i thought ryan joss he didn't look like a professional to me but you know it, it looked pretty good yeah uh Skywalker, but I don't know. I, I wish that he played more of a role in the movie. Wait, um, you don't think he did? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, like, okay, so you know what happens now, so I don't have to worry about spoilers. Uh, I guess. Oh, don't spoil it for them. Don't spoil it for them. Projection. So it wasn't too crazy. And then he just, you know, disappears. He like just vanishes into the forest at the end, which I guess is a good way to, you know, end him. Well, I guess this, I guess this answer, the answer to my other question about you. Do you like Star Wars yet, Togo? The answer is yes. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, uh, well, I'm glad I got your seal of approval because I was gonna say, if your definition of a Star Wars fan is somebody like you who's got all the cool action. I that like before, yeah. I had like I have like the uh, the action figures I have opened. I keep them in a different box, but the other action figures like Wilden sent me those. <laughs> he didn't like yeah. I, he didn't have to because but he did and they just look so wonderful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are cool. That was really nice of him. It really was like, and I made him happy, and I definitely made you happy. Well, it doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. <laughs> yeah, just I like when it comes to my friends. I try to my I work my back off to make everyone as happy I, as best I can. I think that's what I did with Togo and other stuff. And yeah, yeah. and I hope uh, and I'm sure I can speak for all your friends too. I hope we've made you happy too, Mike. Yeah, you guys really did. Like I used to call myself small time, but not anymore. If you if you notice. Yeah, um, I'll always be a partial suitor, but you know, I I am a true furry as anyone. Absolutely, man. Hey, I can say I can say you're a true furry just because you're kind, you're generous, you're accepting, and uh, I can go on and on. <laughs> yeah, I can. All right, now I guess this is the part where we say goodbye. Like, but first I'll end the video first, and then we'll finish talking ourselves and. I just want to thank you so much for all your cooperation, how you worked through all the hiccups and all that. And again, shout outs to Dimitri, Chris Fireball, and Wolven. I love you guys. And, you know, I love you too. <laughs> yeah. Well, love you more. And uh, hey, thanks for jumping through hoops to make this work and everything. And, I, uh, you had me on here. This was a lot of fun. We'll definitely do this again if it's already with you. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Bye bye, guys.